our first guest is not only one of the most talented and stylish NBA players ever, he's also one of the most generous. Please welcome the incredible Russell Westbrook! Now, we met in New York at Fashion Week. Yeah. And you was rocking that purple like me. That seat here right there, you remember that? Uh-huh, okay, okay, okay. I do remember that. I do remember that. <laughs> I, I was at Tom, Tom Ford. That's Tom Ford. And that was actually my birthday, y'all. That day so I had I to rock. That. Yeah, I had to rock the purple. I see you at a lot of the fashion events. Your fashion game is incredible. I mean, you know, it's, it's not bad. Oh. He's been modest. He's been modest. Oh, OK. <laughs> OK, OK. Like, uh huh. See, oh, okay. see now you okay. see. Yeah, yeah, I see. I you see, see yourself. I see what you're saying now. I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay. We can go no, on no. and on and on. <laughs> when did your love for fashion start? You know what? It started um, when I was young. Um, my inspiration was my mom. My mom. She is. Uh, she right there in the orange. Right there, mom. Hi, right there. Hey, 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 mom. Hey, mom. Right there. I see y'all rocking y'all hat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it started uh, when I was young. Um, just got inspired by, honestly, just seeing my mom and the things she put us in, and it, it allowed me to be able to express myself through fashion and through clothes. And since then, I've been attached to it, and you know, I'm, I'm grateful to be able to still now uh, express the way I feel through my through what I wear. So nice. Yeah. I gotta ask, mom. Can I ask mom a question? She's like, "Good, <laughs> don't come over here." Now you know we having a mama moment, mom. Thank you for being here, first of all. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> My mom don't talk a lot. You got to open up fast today. Oh, oh, you at the Jennifer Hudson show. I got to say hello to you. Are, you. are you proud of his fashion sense? Yes. That's it? That's Thank it. you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I need. <laughs> we just happy to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I <laughs> actually did. Does your mom weigh in on, on what you're gonna wear? You know what? You know what? I, even if she don't, I may, uh, before the game, um, I call her, I ask her, um, you know, I may have something on. She may say, let me see your pants. And she may be like, oh, that may work. That may not work. I may, she may have a hat on. She may be like, take it off. Let me see what it's like without the hat. Nice. So it's a, it's a good little dialogue. And we come to a, a good conclusion, you know, so I got a good, Good report with that, but most of the time, my lady, she's been kind of letting me rock out, so it's been great. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Okay. And... <laughs> right, y'all? How long does it take you to, to decide what you're gonna wear? Hmm. It depends where I'm going. Depends okay. Depends on who I'm seeing. Uh, depends on the weather. Uh, depends on, you know, what type of impression I want to make. Um, it depends on a lot of things, honestly. So you put a lot of thought into it, like some thought. It's layers to it. Some okay. Layers. Well, what's the thought you put into your look for the happy place today? How long did it take uh, you to figure it out? Today it took me um, about thirty-seven minutes. Okay. <laughs> did mom? Did mom have input on? Mom didn't see me till I saw her all today. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Thirty-seven minutes. Got today. it. And then we saw you and your wife. Y'all mm -hmm. looked amazing at the Vanity Fair Oscar party. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. that a fun night? Yeah, yeah, that was a great night. <laughs> what inspired this look? Well, um, you know, when we were doing fittings, uh, me and my wife was kind of going back and forth, and I was like, I think it'd be dope if we both wear tuxedos. Mm -hmm. um, and figure out, you know, there's a picture from the fitting, uh, figuring out kind of what works uh, for us. And I was like, you know, it'd be dope if we both wear tuxedo, and she was. She was rocking with it. Uh, she obviously looked way better than I did, but... Y'all uh, rock that. That uh, is for it, sure. It, it turned out well, though, so... <laughs> yes, you did. It's a, you, you were always into sports. Was it always basketball for you? It wasn't. I was actually into football uh, primarily first. Um, basketball came a little later, but football, basketball, baseball. Um, I actually played a little tennis uh, when I was younger as well. Wow. Um, so, yeah, I was a little, com a little combo of everything. Basketball just, you know, happened to get a little lucky. But, uh, Get a little lucky, yeah. yeah, okay. Not a little bit, that's for sure. And how old are your kids? Who, my son? Oh, um, oh um, yeah, there, there they go, there they go. He's uh, about to be six soon, my daughters are four. Uh, they're twins, so they're, they're four. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're precious, they're great. They look so precious. What is uh, the difference between raising a boy and, and having, a girl, having girls? He said, woo. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you know what? It's 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 actually uh, it's actually great. It's a great balance for me, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Like my son, um, you know, he's 
So like right now he's talking a lot, so he has so much, so many questions. Yeah. Like he's so intrigued about every single thing. So and like our conversations are like even weird to me because we just having like normal conversation. He's like, where are you going? Like, okay, so why are you going there? It's like, <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> you know, it's like a great thing. And then my daughters, they're just like so just free flowing and they both have, you know, two different personalities. And um, it's just great, man. It's uh, overall it's so great. Like they love each other, which is so great. They love and their brother. and. Um, honestly, I, I like it's just a, a great healthy balance with all three of them. So I'm grateful for uh, these three. So it's amazing. That's amazing. And your son plays ball like you? My son, my yeah. son. Yeah, he actually just recently, just like within the past like month or so, just recently got really attached to basketball. So he's been asking me in the morning, he wakes up and actually, did we win? How did I play? You know, did I get a slam dunk? Um, you oh, know, he got so a lot of questions. yeah, he got questions. He want to know everything. So he's uh, <laughs> he's very locked in now, and he's he's starting to play basketball. So you know, uh, we'll see how long it goes. Okay, we will, we'll be waiting to yeah. see. That's for sure. <laughs> I want to hear all about your foundation. Why Ooh, not? Yeah, yeah. You're doing incredible things. Can you tell Thank us you. about it? Yeah, the Why Not Foundation. Um, foundation I started. Um, I'll keep it short, but primarily. Um, based and to be able to touch the underserved in inner city of Los Angeles. I grew up in the inner city of Los Angeles, um, down in the inner city of Los in LA. Um, primarily we work on education, um, mental health and, and workforce development. That's kind of our three sectors. So involved in that, we have a, a variety of different things. I have a middle school, a high school that, uh, that I, I partnered with LA Promise Fund in inner city of Los Angeles nice. called Westbrook Academy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, with, with, with the message, we just want to instill uh, the youth and, and people just globally to, to believe why not, to instill confidence in themselves that they can do whatever they put their mind to, regardless of what other people around uh, may say they can't. So um, just with that, we want to continue striving and impacting the youth and underserved communities across the world, so. That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. <clears throat> can you tell me where the name Why Not came from? Yeah, uh, why not? It was it's actually it was it was crazy. Uh, it was something that started um, me and my couple friends in high school. Uh, we just was kind of joking around, and uh, back in high school, we just like, oh, you know, why not do this? Why not do that? And it became something that, uh, at least for me, very very uh, gave me so much confidence in myself to do anything. Um, it gave my friends confidence, and since day one, um, we've been stuck with anytime something comes up or any idea we may have or any venture we may want to try or people we want to help, we just instill ourselves and, and why not it works for me basketball wise in life. Um, I try to instill it to other people and um, as we know, having self-confidence is very, very important in, in our society today and um, you know, it's very important. So that's kind of where it started. All yeah. right. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.